Hello, loves. So uh, last week we had some sound issues, so I'm coming to you with my headphones in. I literally, I have to buy some new equipment. I don't actually have enough, um, like I have professional microphones, but I just don't have enough places to plug all this stuff in. So I'm going to have to redo my tech here pretty soon. Anyways, I hope you guys are all having a beautiful week. It's such an interesting, changing time of the year. I know here we've got lots of rain. I've got family where it's snowing. I've got friends where it's nice and sunny. So it's, uh, yeah, interesting. I love transition times. I think there's so much available for us in transition um, to think and consider and, and just be with. And, uh, you know, if life is not one giant transition, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so today I just wanted to talk to you about presence and how presence is really key in creating um, quality relationships, lasting relationships, passionate relationships. Um, I like to think that you can break down the types of intimacy into mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, and sexual. And I would say presence is really important for all of those. And when we have really great intimacy, people feel really loved. So there's, you know, a couple different layers to this. And so getting back down to the foundational layer of how we can be present and how that can create greater intimacy. What I would really like you to consider this week, just invite yourself to ponder is how present are you in your relationships? And you could really, depending on kind of what level you're feeling like you want to explore this at, consider every relationship. You know, when you're standing in the lineup, and you um, say you're paying for some groceries and the cashier says, hi, how are you? And, you know, you respond, are you just like good and looking somewhere else and paying attention somewhere else? Or are you actually like really connecting with that person, listening to how they're asking you it, noticing their body language, and then really being present with yourself and answering that question from a place of truth and, and authenticity? right? Maybe you weren't all that great. We were like, oh God, I'm really tired today or whatever that is. So it could be a relationship there. It could be a relationship with someone at your home. Um, you know, one way to really ask yourself if you're present is if somebody's talking to you, would you be able to recap what they've just said accurately back to them? Uh, cause if you're not able to do that, then there's either two things, either you weren't really being present and listening to that person, or um, um, they were talking too long and you sort of lost um, your ability to keep up at some point, in which case is that's a great opportunity just to ask somebody, you know, could we just pause for a minute? I just want to make sure I understood you, right? And when people hear back what you've said to them, they just really like it. Um, and it can also make things clearer for you and communication more seamless. I cannot tell you how many people I see having communication problems because they're simply not present enough with each other and not truly listening to each other and instead sort of in their own heads. The last sort of circumstance you might think about, um, well, there's two. There's really in your business. Are you really present um, if you're an entrepreneur or you're um, leading a company, are you really present with your staff when they're talking to you? Do you really hear their concerns? Um, sometimes um, it's really easy just to think, well, I can't deal with that because you don't have a solution for it. And instead, you could just really be present and say, you know, I hear you. I understand this is, you know, coming up for you and I'd like some time to think about this. Or, you know, perhaps you have some solutions or maybe we could arrange a meeting you know, with uh, management about this, something like that. And then again, just seeing how that goes. Um, the last one is sexually, you know, um, one, um, I had, uh, someone ask the other day, like, what do you think is the most, like the, the biggest key to great sex? And, you know, in all the couples that I see and I work with presence is the hugest thing. As soon as I can get a couple to be present with each other, no matter what 
um, you know, they're doing in terms of exploring each other or communicating or sharing um, fantasies or whatever that is, when there's presence, it completely changes the game. And, you know, one thing to ask yourself if you're sexually intimate with someone is, you know, are you able to be present with their body rhythms at this moment? Are you present with yours? Are you present with what's coming up for you, your emotions, your feelings? Are you feeling into the other person at this moment? Do you feel like that person is there with you? Or do you feel like they've kind of checked out or checked into a particular sexual organ and they're kind of no longer there? You know, ask yourself the same question. Am I really like here with this person? And just explore presence and see how it goes and see how it can really change and evolve and um, benefit your relationships for the better. Okay. Love you. Bye.